Glory. Praise the Lord. Oh, let's keep on praying. We, we must respond while he was speaking and now. We're called to prayer, aren't we? Our pastor's been called to prayer, Brother Morgan, but we're called to prayer right here. Oh, yes. Called to wait upon the Lord. He's waiting for our prayers. Yes, sir. Waiting for our prayers. Sister Barr said when Scott Depot prays sufficiently, revival will come. Yes, sir. I believe that. More than that is waiting for our prayers, and we want to respond. We want to give ourselves to Him. There's a song the Lord has led for. Maybe we can use it as a way to consecrate ourselves to this challenge, Brother Morgan, to this Word, a way to give ourselves to Him. It's hymn number 183. The hymn is called Consecration. But with a message like we've had today, then we can sing this song, consecrating ourselves to God indeed, but to this call to prayer and all that it means for us. So may it be just that way. Richard, could you direct us? 183. standing just a moment. Brother Otis, it was just three weeks ago today, I believe, that you stood before us, gave us a challenge while our pastor was gone. It was a challenge to this consecration. It was a challenge to this prayer, this continuing believing prayer that we've heard of this morning that we might take and we might give to God that which is His. I ask that you pray for us all, Otis, to bring the microphone to Him because this has been on your heart and we want it on all of our hearts together in response. Oh, Lord, 
such beautiful golden nuggets that we've received in this message. Thank you, Lord. It's true. Father. Thank you, Father, for it in Jesus' name. Lord, as he said, what is your will? What do you want? What would you like us to do? And Jesus, help us to see it. <laughs> Father, we ask you for all of those things that uh, are so dear to us, for those that are ill, for those, Heavenly Father, that are looking to you and trusting you now, yes, Lord. Even now. for life, Lord. Even now, Lord. We love you. We love them. We ask for them, Jesus. We ask, Lord, that this message would sink into our hearts. Oh, Father. Oh, Lord. It's true down deep The love of God we feel in our hearts this morning. <laughs> Jesus, we believe it's true that you're moving in our midst. Yes. Revival's on the Thank way, you, Lord. Lord. Thank you. If it's Glory. not already here, Jesus, in my heart I feel like you, we've had a special touch. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for it, Lord. Would you bless Brother Morgan bless him, strengthen and each of our pastors, Lord, that are on the platform and be with Brother Helm and our dear Brother Oliver as he's uh, praying, Jesus, give him the right petition. Mm -hmm. We love you, Lord. We love you. Blessed God, this Thank is such a wonderful time. Search our hearts and yes. bless us, we pray, with your presence. Amen. 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 Let me see. I have been loved this morning through the service. I'm thankful for it, for the way God's helped this morning. I want to praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the strength and the help and uh, Sister Betty and Pat, I was sort of hoping we'd get to keep you here too, but I'm thankful that you were here this morning and thankful for your being here. I have a few announcements this morning. I'd like to remind you that Easter's coming up and Joanne and Genial are making candy Easter eggs. The deadline for the orders are next Sunday and they will have order blanks if you'd like to order some Easter eggs from them. Also, here at the church, we're starting a food pantry for members of our congregation and request that each family donate one non-perishable item each Sunday, and you may give your item to an usher. Max, did you want to? I have keys. There's a Chrysler key on there. There's a General Motors key that were found in the men's room this end. So okay. if you lost your keys, they'll be back here at the ushers. Thank you. Okay, thank you. There's an important announcement for the callers for the church. You can meet immediately after this morning's worship service in the music room. That is the church callers. Please meet in the music room. And Markham, could you take the microphone to Guy and Guy can tell us a little bit about the concert. Yes. Guy, along with others, has been working on this concert and you know how the Lord helps Guy Young so wonderfully. But this is quite a concert. It's been in the making now for some months and we're looking forward to what's going to be taking place here Thursday evening. Let me give you just a little brief history. People have been asking, is this a playoff or a contest Thursday night? It's the result of a contest that was sponsored by the Museum and the Community and the School for the Arts and in connection with Monsanto Corporation to uh, choose a world winning composer to um, to judge his piece and entries came as far away as from Canada and Germany and this, the winner was selected. He's from Oberlin Conservatory in, in, uh, in Ohio and I do believe that Oberlin was founded by Charles Grandison Finney 150 years ago. And uh, this prize winner is coming uh, for this concert Thursday night, this wonderful composer Howard Miller and the Montani String Quartet from the West Virginia Symphony will, will premiere this world premiere piece. And also there'll be music by Mendelssohn and Haydn, string quartet music, and the entire community is involved, and the junior women will serve a reception in the foyer at seven o'clock. Eight o'clock is the concert, it's free of charge, and we welcome you to come and to support it. Um, something I wanted to encourage you to do is to pray 
for the concert that's good. Thank and that you, the God. Lord will have his way. That's good. And Thank that you. when people do walk through the doors, yeah. that the promise that has been given will, will be fulfilled as people that's come. Good. Because it is a unique opportunity. It's, we've never collaborated in the community on such a broad level. And many people will be here. And uh, we invite you to come and to love them and support on this evening. So that's the news. And that's the background. And that's what's coming. Thank you, God. Thursday much. night. Amen. Thank you. Ushers, could you please come forward that we can worship God with our tithes and offerings. Dear Father, we thank you and we praise you. Thank you for this time this morning together. Thank you for the worship. Thank you for your presence. Thank you, Jesus, that you came here to be with us. God, we want to praise you for it. We thank you for the strength and for the help. And Jesus, we want to, in turn, glorify you. And Jesus, in doing so, we give our tithes and our offerings this morning. We pray that you would take it and bless it and use it for your kingdom's use. In thy precious name I pray, and amen. Hasn't it been a very special service this morning? Yes. In the presence of the Lord with this challenge we've had. Before we go, we're going to stand and sing number 403 and worship God in this song. Number 403.
if this be our prayer and if we would heed the challenge we received this morning, then we couldn't even begin to imagine what all God could do with us and for us in our service yes. tonight. Yes. But we want him to have his way, don't we? Barry, could you dismiss us, please? Thank the Lord for the service. Review his help to us and ask that we go in his grace and go expecting for God to help us. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful service. Jesus, there just aren't hardly words uh, to express what you've done, how you've helped us here this morning. Lord, for your spirit that's been so sweet. Uh, Lord, for the way you helped your servant to share. Jesus, uh, we just cherish it some way, and we thank you for it. Lord, in the beauty and the, the silence and the wonder of this hour, we praise you today. Ask, Lord, that you might go with us now as we review and retain. And, Lord, help us, we pray, to hold close to our hearts uh, those wonders that you've granted us this morning. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.